I've been vegan for only two years, but you're a long-term vegan, right? Yeah, yeah. So I've been vegetarian since I was a kid, um, <clears throat> but vegan for about five years, I'd say. Um, it was a very hard transition for sure, because I loved cheese and I loved eggs and all. Eggs. It was eggs for me. The eggs are hard. It's yeah. hard. Um, so yeah, so it was it was a hard transition, but yeah, it's I've I've been vegan now for quite a few years. So we'll do like a nut roast and um, still working on a good uh, Yorkie recipe that works. Um, I think I've got it down now, um, but yeah, it's all all vegan. And you and my share family, that. Well, yeah, I will. I'll, I'll, I'll need that. Um, but my mum and dad are as well, mainly plant based. So it's a bit easier as with everyone kind of eating the same thing. Yeah, it's good. And, and nut roast, you've got to get right because it can be ever so dry um, and really like sort of yeah. stick to the to the roof of your mouth. There's a child waving at me. Hello. Oh, school. Um, you can really get stuck to the top of your mouth and it's. Oh, but if you get a good one. You put yeah. maybe like some sweet potato in or something to give it some moisture. Absolutely perfect. Dreamy. Okay, a bit of sweet potato. I can have yeah. tried that. It's funny. Yeah, my husband also is the first person to say something is dry. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, just put some gravy on it then. <laughs> okay. Put some gravy on and shut it. Yeah, just do you just do that? <laughs> After I'm cooking. Don't tell me anything about the dry nut roast. <laughs> But look, we've got to talk about veganism because as far as I understand, you've got a vegan cafe in Los Angeles. Yeah, so I actually um, opened up a, a coffee shop. And so I, I would, I like my little morning coffee and I'd go to, you know, Starbucks or, or wherever it is. And I obviously I don't drink uh, dairy milk. So I'd ask for like almond milk or whatever, oat milk. Um, and you have to pay extra for it. And then I would see like the cartons of milk that were wasted, like just thrown, like just built up cartons of milk. And I'd be like, oh my God, we are using so much dairy. And it's just it's kind of scary how much, how much we're using. So I had this idea yeah, to um, open a coffee shop and to not have dairy milk, to just have all plant-based milk and like plant-based pastries. And it was kind of like a little dream of mine. Um, and my husband and I and a partner of ours opened it um, a couple of years ago. Well, three months before the pandemic. Which oh, was... great. <laughs> great. They're like, okay. <laughs> um, but somehow some way thank the heavens we were able to survive it um and 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 flourish um and now yeah we've got really like good little community down there and and people that really appreciate us us doing it um and and offering something um that's plant-based um because it's not just for people who are vegan it's you know people have intolerances and things like that allergies and stuff so they can get whatever they want there. So yeah, it's I just really it. nice. Yeah. You've got to open one in London. I want to go. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to. Um, we're actually looking to expand. So we might actually. And how, how do you feel sort of moving into a, a more sort of a, the business side of things? Is that something you enjoy? Do you know what? I always wanted a brick and mortar store because um, my parents actually, they had um, stores when I was growing up. So they had fashion stores and I would go there and work every weekend in the store behind the till like for like 50p an hour. Um, and they would like, it was just, it, I don't know, it was so beautiful to see their relationship in that way. They obviously had their family, but then they had a, a business relationship and a partnership. Um, and I'd just grown up around that. So having a little business of my own was kind of like a, a little dream of mine. Um, and it probably comes from that. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Isn't it funny? I think <laughs> so many people, I'm a bit older than you, but so many people of our generation back in the day had jobs very young in shops. Like my granddad had florists. Well, he had two and then he went down to one. It was called Dandelion. And I, at uh, 12 was working yeah. for him again for like you can have a, a a sandwich at lunch and I'll give you a fiver yeah and I'd be cleaning these eggy pots and like <laughs> crazy we were like kids 
but yeah, yeah. with worth ethic instilled. Exactly. I was the same, babe, like 12 years old yeah. in that shop, Saturdays opening up behind the till. Um, now I think now, like I'm looking at my nephews, thinking about my, like God, I'm like, they're not working at 12. <laughs> no. no. I mean, nor would they even consider it. They'd be like, are you joking? Yeah. No way. I can't even get my kids to do the washing up in our house. <laughs> working in a shop, like, it's not going to happen. That's crazy.